Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Mesil Sisharim and speaking about now the cleanliness that a person requires in their midos and their character traits, no less than the cleanliness we need in our mitzvahs. And says the Ramchal, the midos, the character traits of a person, are many. There are many different traits that a person has contained within them. Just like there are many different activities that a person is able to do in this world. He can see, he can hear, he can smell, he can eat, he can talk, he can walk, he can manipulate things with his hands, he can play instruments, he can drive cars, he can go to work, he can build things. A man is a multifaceted individual. Just like he's multifaceted and complex in the physical, so too is a person multifaceted in his midas, in his character, and you should know that there's something that is distinct, distinctive about our midas, and that is that the rest of our activities, the rest of our actions, our moods, where we're going to go in life, what we're going to accomplish, what we want to do, they are heavily drawn after the midas, after the character of a person. Just like we spoke about in the world of mitzvahs, we spoke about those mitzvahs where a person had to cleanse themselves even more. The Hainu, what does that mean? The Ramchal says, if you'll notice what I was speaking about previously, we didn't go through all 613 mitzvahs in the Torah. It's an impossibility. We can't go through all of that right now in this Sefer, in the work of Mesut Sisharim. So I chose the mitzvahs that I feel and that I observe and we see from the eyes of Chazal that people stumble in and make mistakes in the most. And therefore those will be the areas where you should start working on first. And you'll take it as a lesson to the rest of all of the mitzvahs in the Torah that we have to be clean there as well. So too, when it comes to the midas that we're going to discuss right now, the negative character traits, says the Ramchal, I'm picking the head categories, I'm picking the main midas, ra'is, the negative traits that people have inside of them that are running them over and controlling their lives and end up damaging and hurting them. So we're not going to speak about all of the midas, we can't speak about all of the bad traits, but rather we'll speak about four, which the Ramchal is going to point out that he holds are the head categories of all of the all of the bad midas, and from here we'll learn to extrapolate to the other ones. Vehem, what are these four? Hagaiva, hardiness, hakas, anger, hakina, jealousy, vataiva, and the pursuit of lust and base desires in this world. So once again, the four are gaiva, or haughtiness, being conceited, kas, anger and getting angry, kina, jealousy that we have for other people's things, taiva, and when we are entrenched in our lowly desires, trying to fill up all of the hanoi, sa'ilam, all the pleasure of the world that we can. These four character traits which we are describing over here, which are negative traits, they are well known and they are recognizable to everyone. Everybody knows that these things are terrible. I don't have to bring any proof that these things are bad. They are bad in of themselves. And the results of a person who is brooding with one of these four midas, even maybe more of them, the results are terrible as well. All of these four traits, they're outside the realm of one's yashus, his straightness, and seichel, the way that he thinks in a logical way, and the chachma, the wisdom of the Torah, this is obviously, this is counterintuitive to our wisdom. And each one on its own, is so powerful and so debilitating to a person, it can bring them to averos chamuras to many, many other terrible sins. And that's why the Ramchal is going to choose these four as the example, because through them, a person is able to enter into such a sordid world of sin, it's impossible almost to believe what a little bit of haughtiness or anger or jealousy or taivu immersion in one's pleasures is able to do. So that's what we're going to begin next week, speaking one by one 
all about these midos rois, these terrible traits, and we'll see where chalil, if a person lets them unbridled and doesn't control them, and doesn't learn to keep them at bay, can we learn to see where, God forbid, it can end up leading a person. However, on the other hand, if a person is strong, and the kaivish as Yitzhar, like we mentioned yesterday, they subdue their evil inclination, and they master the traits, they don't let the traits become masters over them, then the growth that a person will have in ruchnius and spirituality is exponentially great to the extent that you won't be able to fathom how big and how large and how lofty you're going to reach in the world of Avedis Hashem. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.